Hey everybody, Lev Farmer 73 here. Just want to hit you with something real quick. It's Thanksgiving. Happy holidays to you. And uh, for all the people that uh, ain't here right now and can't get to their loved ones, take it easy. You're going to get to them. Be safe. Okay, with that being said, check it out. A uh, friend of mine, Claudia, you sent me some sugar cane. I ain't grew sugar cane in a long time. It's been years you guys seen that video of me growing it in a container. Well, just so happened, I actually still got that container and I pulled it out. And he gave me some sugar cane. And he started it for me. He sent it to me all the way from California. And he sent it to me the way I told him to, that I start sugar cane. He did that for me. And it was all wrapped in uh, paper towels. And as you can see, I put it on top of the refrigerator and it went nuts. So I figured, I know it's November, it's Thanksgiving day, but I said, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and plant it and get it going because I don't want it to die off because if it stay like this, it'll be all tangled up and everything. You can even see the roots under there starting to tangle up. I don't want that to happen because you gotta start ripping it and everything. So what we're going to do right now is go back. No. What we're going to do right now is I'm going to take down and see all those roots. Let's unwind that and let's see what's going on with it. Oh, yeah. Look at all the roots in there. I can smell that good ham all the way out here cooking. Okay. See all of that? That's where stuff is going to start happening at. We could have cut this a little shorter. Here's a node right here coming out. That's going to become a plant. See, this is why I say, you know, normally I would have just planted this whole doggone thing in the dirt. Here's a node right here. Look like it may have rotted out. But the roots, that's, it'll still pop something else out of here. So that's all. I'm not going to tear no roots. So I'm going to just put this in the dirt just like this. Look, check it out. I got some old potting soil that I just bought from, uh, you know, one of the big box stores. And this all I'm going to do. I, it ain't nothing really but wood chips. This ain't even really soil. I'm going to plant it sideways just like that and cover it up. I'm not even going to water it because it's, it's you know, it's kind of cool out here. It's November. So, uh. It's that simple, you guys. I'm not going to... It's not hard as everybody make it seem to grow sugar cane in a container. This is what I did years ago. And this is what I'm showing you I'm doing now. Look at that one. That's a killer right there. You see that? That's going to be the one right there. I wanted to plant these straight in the ground. Be, but um, the seasons ain't cooperating, if you will. So, and all of this is growing way faster than I'm used to. When I did it, I used to do it around this time of season, but this kind of results is insane. So, I figure I'll go ahead and plant it right now. So, look at that. Can you get a good look? I mean, see that pretty good? The roots busted through like that. So, I got one here. I got one here, a node here growing. And I got one down here ready to go. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to put that dead center. Just scoop a little hole in the dirt. Cover it up. And that's it. And it will grow over the winter. I mean, it, it might die back, but it will come back in the winter time. So I've had that happen plenty of times. So don't be too worried about that if you are down here in the south somewhere. Now, if you're up in the north, that's a whole other ball game. I get a lot of people fussing at me about that. You got to remember, your grow zone is different from mine, okay? So, you may want to read a little bit more about your area. Look at all the roots coming off that one. So, I'm going to plant that one right in here. Lay it right next to this other one. And I'm going to cover that up. And leave them alone. I'm not even going to water them in because as you can see, the soil is moist enough to hold water. So that's it. Now these other guys in here, 
I'm going to put them in a whole nother container and see what happens. Ooh, look at that, sweet mama. I think I'm a... Let's get greedy. Why not? Let's get greedy, y'all. Throw this sucker right into the... I'm, I'm not even going to take that one out. I'm going to put this sideways in there. Cover that up. Uh, this one... This one ain't looking as nice as the rest. So we're going to... Yeah, look at that. He ain't doing so good. We're going to put him in here sideways and pray for him. He be all right. And that's it, you guys. That's how I plant my sugar cane. Now, a lot of people didn't see me do it years ago. That's exactly what I done. Just potting soil and sugar cane uh, cuttings and put them in the soil. I didn't do nothing special to it. I didn't add a whole bunch of crazy ingredients. I didn't put a whole bunch of fertilizers or nothing. Now, once it start growing, when it get warm, it's going to go crazy. And I will start feeding it, feeding it real hard. Because the more food you give them, the bigger they get, the thicker they get. So, that's it, you guys. Uh, I just want to throw that video out here because I know some of y'all going to eat and be scrolling through YouTube. So, there you go. That's how I... Live Farm 73, grow sugar cane in a container. Y'all thought it was going to be more difficult than that. It ain't. Most of this garden and stuff, don't let nobody scare you off talking about it's hard work. It's not. It's hard work if you feel like spending a bunch of money that you ain't got. It's this simple. Most of gardening is this simple. That's it. All right. Happy holidays. I love you. Live Farm 73, and I'm out. Don't eat too much.